Do you remember the joy you felt when you were a child playing in nature or when you were allowed the freedom to express yourself creatively? Sadly, today we, we lack an intimacy with nature. We kind of tend to see it as something we go to rather than we are part of. Um, and yet we are part of nature. And the more time we spend in nature, um, the more we realize this. My love affair with nature began way back in my childhood. My earliest recollection of a deep connection was with the trees in our back garden. And um, we had the most beautiful silver birches. The trees gifted me that freedom, and um, the higher I climbed, the freer I became. That deep love and intimate connection I have with nature has never left me. Um, in fact, it's gone deeper over the years. I believe we're all highly creative and soulful beings, deeply connected to nature. And it concerns me, our, our disconnection that we have with um, not only nature, but our creativity. Um, we spend less and less time being creative outdoors in nature. And yet, if you go back and look at our cave dwellers, we were constantly being creative. We're constantly using our hands to make things, create things. Creativity is ancient and it's, it's part of what makes us human. In Richard Liv's book, The Nature Principle, he provides affirmation that adults are suffering from nature deficit disorder too, and are in need of reconnecting with nature just as much as our children. He quotes Thomas Berry, we have turned away from nature. The great work of the 21st century will be to reconnect the natural worlds as a source of meaning, and I wholeheartedly agree. We can never be whole, balanced, and in harmony unless every part of us is healthy. Nature art helps nurture harmony and balance in the mind, the body, and the spirit, which in turn leads to health and happiness. Nature art nurtures the whole being, the body, the mind, and the spirit. And when we're creating, we're fully focused, and we're engrossed in the, the joy that the um, process gives us. It's, it's not about creating the, the final product, but the actual journey of creating something. It's so joy-filled that we're not thinking about yesterday or tomorrow. Our lives now are incredibly busy um, and technology kind of steals our our humanness. We're looking at our cell phones, our computers, so we're, we're indoors a lot um, and we're not allowing ourselves to really um, be alive and, and feel the, the wonders and joy that nature gifts us. And by expressing ourselves, we're um, allowing to nurture our whole being. The top researchers in the world are proving the case that getting outside is critical to our mental and physical well-being. Nature art invites us to slow down and leave our daily stress and worries behind. It allows us to express ourselves creatively and it helps reduce our stress, lowers blood pressure and improves our overall well-being. There's so much research now that um, backs up our belief that nature is good for us. And when we're out in nature, we do feel different and we leave our stresses behind. I absolutely love the forest. I feel at home in the forest among these beautiful giant beings. When we're surrounded by the trees, our brains work differently. Our bodies, our minds, our hearts, and our, and our spirits are fully engaged um, as we're creating. They're, they're engaged with the elements and the materials we're working with. And as we spend more time in nature creating um, with nature, we understand that we are part of nature and there's no separation between us and our environment. And more importantly, it, it fosters a feeling of being alive. When I'm outdoors, I feel alive. I believe creativity is the core of being human. 
And I can't think of a more inspiring environment than the natural world to be creative in. And one of the simplest ways to nurture a deep love and meaningful relationship with nature is nature art. One of the simplest nature art forms that we can actually do is land art and we're being physically active. We're having to go and collect the pine cones, the pine needles, the leaves and the rocks, the pebbles, whatever natural materials from nature. We're, we're being physically active going and hunting and gathering the natural items and bringing them back to be creative with. So we're being physically active. And then we're, we're touching and smelling. How can we not feel a connection to nature when we're touching the earth? Um, when we're feeling the sun on our face or the rain um, or the tingling on our fingers in the cold snow or the wind in our hair um, the bird song in the background oh the bird song is so beautiful you can't help but smile when you hear the birds singing and um, so we're our senses are fully stimulated um, each and every one of our senses we're engaged with the natural items that we're working with we're engaged with the bird song and the wind and so we're we're being um, stimulated by all the different elements that are around us and we begin to understand Understand that we are part of this beautiful world too, that we, we are part of nature. And the beauty of land art is we can actually do it anywhere and at any time of year and at any age. So when we're creating our nature art, we're expressing ourselves creatively and we're not being judged. Nobody's judging you. It's free expression. It's about being an individual. Um, how do you see the mandala? Um, how would you like to create the mandala? Or how, do you, how would you like to paint the tree? It's about your expression, your feeling. Um, it, it's a very individual, beautiful experience. And that's what gives us the most joy, is being able to have that freedom, that freedom to express ourselves creatively, um, that no one is judging our art. Uh, there's no wrong way to do it. There's no bad way to do it. It's yours, it's yours alone. And that's really what um, gives the most joy. Today, we tend to feel guilty about taking time and um, spending time on ourselves and yet our health and well-being should be uh, a priority. How can we be the best that we can be for everybody else around us if we're not looking after ourselves? Part of my work with adults is to help them rekindle the child within and my work with children is, is to keep that spirit alive. Every relationship requires time and commitment and our relationship with nature is no different. Um, the more time we spend immersed in nature, uh, we begin to realise that we are part of nature and as we discover that, um, it's a beautiful journey. We're finding a constant source of health and happiness through nature when we understand our connection. If you'd like to feel happier and healthier from the benefits of nature art, join us at Educating the Heart.